Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm currently ready to go to work, hold on. And I said I'm going to give you guys a week in my life, nighttime edition um, for work. Tonight is a... <laughs> I just started this a different day. Tonight is a Wednesday night. I have the trash there to just take downstairs. When I pop downstairs, I have this bag here with some sweet treats. I think it's called cannoli. That's what they look like. Because tonight we are having a sweet treat. Yeah. Potluck at work and that's what I'm gonna take with me typically I'll bake my banana bread and stuff but I don't feel like doing that right now today I just was not in the mood you know so I did not so that's what I'm taking with me um and I'm basically ready to go I think I'm gonna make a little bit of coffee though because I feel a little all over the place I'm not gonna eat because we're having potluck at work typically when we have food at work I don't eat because then that would be too much food um but for the remainder of Tonight, I'm probably gonna vlog on my phone. I'm gonna take videos in the room. Hopefully, there's no identifying information that shows and tells where I work. Um, or if there is, then I can like cut it out. But we're gonna have to see. But well, um, yeah, basically ready to go. Waiting for my friend to get here. I called her earlier and she said that she just woke up like five minutes ago and she's gonna take a bird bath. And I'll have you know that it's 10 p.m. right now. So 9.55, she's gonna take a bird bath. So she's not gonna get here until about 10.15, closer to 10.30. I was hoping to get there early because it's a potluck. Plus my other coworker asked me to order something on Uber Eats for her because her Uber Eats isn't working. But I don't know how any of that is gonna go considering the fact that a friend is coming late. All I have to do right now is just put my jacket on and just be ready to go. Mia is wide awake in the living room, her and mom. But um, she just got her bottle for the night. So the only thing that's left for her to do is really wind down and go to sleep. So, um, yeah. I'll see you guys when I see you. Order the stuff for part. Okay. We have Uber Eats for potluck. This is definitely me in the locker room at work, going on break with my sleep mask. Because one thing about that door, this is gonna open often. The other room that we typically sleep in is where we have the food in, so I have to find somewhere else to sleep. This is not my preferred place, but I don't have a choice. And Jules is downstairs with her brand new friend in the emergency room, so it's whatever. We can't even go talk. So I'm about to go put my sleep mask on, sit on the chair, put my head on the table, and sleep for an hour and a half. And then go back to my one-to-one. -one. Change of plans. Jules said to come wait for her by the elevator, so I'm waiting to see. But I'm relaxing. So what you guys are watching here is me taking out my old roses that have died or, you know, they started bowing. And I'm going through with some roses that I brought home from work. One of our lovely nurses bought all the ladies on the floor some roses and they were just sitting there. The color of them were so pretty. I love flowers and they were going to just die. And I was not going to let that man waste his money this year. So I brought them home, give them a new home, refresh my table and save them from dying and they look so good on my table love the color they're so cute and to this day they're still standing upright and look really really nice so love that hello you guys welcome to the second day of the week in my life currently sitting in the car at home depot trying to avoid this annoying beep because she left and left with the key so we're sitting outside in the car i was trying to set up her phone now here we are it is a snow day outside 
and so because it's a snow day it's not really that great outside but it looks very pretty if you don't have to be walking outside so i'm going to show you guys that because this is annoying I don't even know how many nights this is, but we're on the night shift. Last night I was in a one-to-one -one that randomly became a one-to-one -one because the patient slit their wrist, you know, just too much is going on. Tonight I'm on that same one-to-one. -one. I might see over in the morning and if I do, I'm gonna stay on that same one. But I'm waiting for the supervisor to confirm. I'm on break right now and I'm trying to sleep right this second because if I stay over, I'm gonna need some rest. I don't really know. I need her to confirm by five though so I can know what I'm doing. Mom, I have my bed set up. I have my sleep mask and everything and I'm going to sleep. But that's really all that's been going on the last, last night was not really that great mainly because of what I said. But tonight is like an easier night, more chill, no problems, you know, tolerable. Tomorrow night I'm off. If I stay over in the morning, I'm not going to pick up a shift tomorrow night. But if I don't, then I will pick up a shift tomorrow night and probably one night out of the weekend because I make some overtime beauty. But um, yeah, see you guys later. This is maybe night four. Yeah. Hello you guys, I'm going to work. This is night, I don't even know how many nights this is at this point. And I'm gonna be working, I think seven nights straight because I picked up a shift or eight nights straight and then um, I'm off Saturday and then I picked up another shift for Sunday nights, mainly because the space check without overtime, overtime makes it better, okay? So we're trying to do what we can here. I currently have, I currently have me as white noise going like i was saying earlier i picked up a shift because the paycheck with an overtime shift looks better than the one without and a girl has responsibilities and needs money so um i'm gonna be working eight nights straight i don't know what night this is to friday saturday five six this is night six um so yeah I'm definitely ready to go. I just gave Mia a bottle. She's in the living room with my mom. I mean, I gave my mom the bottle to give her, but she's ready for bed and she's already sleeping. So I'm about to leave here. You guys, I started waist training again. I have a little waist trainer on. I'm wearing it to work. I've been wearing it for a couple of nights now, maybe like four. Is this my fifth night? Maybe like four or five nights now. And I was wearing the little wraparound one that my mom gave me and it got comfortable, but I tried putting this one back on when I just had Mia. I was wearing this one. And it was a little bit more comfortable than this, but a girl gained. Since I'm walking up and down at nights, it kind of works out. Um, the first night I was sitting down and to be completely honest, it was not great mainly because I was sitting down. So on the nights where I'm going to be walking around, I prefer to um, wear it on those nights. So I had taken a break from a little weight trainer, maybe like the fifth night. And I realized that it was making my ribs hurt. And then I watched a video on TikTok that was basically saying... It doesn't really do anything because people who did it for like two years straight and three years straight were showing that as soon as you take it off, your body goes back to exactly what it looked like. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to torture myself for nothing at all. And it's not really good for you. So I'm like, okay, whatever. This is not my thing. I tried it in a workout. Moving on. So now here we are back to just working out and seeing. But I'm going to work. Oh, we're about to leave here. 
um, already ate. I should probably bring a snack with me because at night I find that I need a snack and I've been snacking, but I try to bring something healthy like a granola bar. Last night somebody gave me a snack and it was so good. I bought it on Amazon and I said I was gonna buy some. I was gonna buy some, so I need to look into that. But I'm about to leave, so I'm gonna get my stuff here, my watch and stuff, and turn the white noise back on and go about to leave. I'll see you guys later. This is also where I'm gonna wrap up the week in my life working in a New York City hospital. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. This one was rather long.